I'm Ty Higgins with the Ohio AgNet at a field day with Seed Consultants and Mike Early is my guest. Uh, Mike, we've heard a lot about a new weed coming through the Midwest called Palmer Amaranth and I'll be really honest with you, I saw it for the first time last week on the Pro Farmer Crop Tour. Didn't get a really uh, up close look at it until you brought it uh, here today. Kind of tell us uh, where you found it and how it's making its way here. Well, we found it, you know, it's been found here in Fayette County and it's been more, and been, been more in more than one location. Uh, this is a new discovery, a different field than what we've seen it in the past. So I wanted to make sure that everybody that was here today had a chance to see a live plant. I didn't bring the whole plant, but I did take the top off of one and bring it so everybody can see what the seed head looks like and see how the leaf and everything looks like on it. So it may be a little easier for them to identify gets to a point where there's really nothing you can do, but there is something early on if you catch it in the field at a really young stage that you can do about it? Yeah, if we catch it in a two to three uh, inch height level, which is very short, we're able to control it with like Flexstar, Cobra, some things like that, or some uh, a product called Prefix, which is, which is a dual Flexstar premix. Uh, but there again, it has to be done in a two to three inch uh, height level in order to control it. Beyond that, about the only thing it's gonna do much for it is Liberty. Tell me some of the characteristics and uh, what guys should be looking for as they scout their fields for it. Well, number one, in the early stages, it's, it's in the pigweed family. So it's going to look a, resemble the pigweed a lot. The biggest thing, the first thing you want to look for is the uh, leaf petiole, which holds the leaf onto the main stem. If you break that off of the main stem, the petiole is going to be longer than the leaf. That's the first identifying factor for it. Plus, then it's also a hairless main stem where pigweed has hair on it. So that's another identifying factor. So those are the first things to look at in the early stages. It is tough to identify until you know for sure what you're looking for. Um, and but uh, you know any place it's coming out of different places. It's come out of the south where they're hauling the uh, cottonseed in for dairies, and it's being passed through into the manure. Uh, the other places coming for is in seed being planted for crep acres. Uh, you know we, they've had samples of uh, crep seed uh, tested as high as 50% Palmer amaranth seed. So that, you know, that's some things that if you're going to sow some crap, uh, crap acres, new crap acres, have the seed tested before you plant it to make sure you're not planting all uh, Palmer amaranth. Uh, because uh, anything coming out of the state of Texas is Roundup resistant, so you're not able to clean it up. And uh, so there's different ways of moving it around, and, uh, but it's tough. It's something we don't want to mess with. We've heard the horror stories. We've seen some of the pictures coming out of Texas, Missouri, Nebraska last week. Saw a lot of this on the Pro Farmer Crop Tour as well. And now it looks like here in Fayette County and a good portion of Ohio, we're going to be seeing it uh, throughout the next couple of years. Mike Early, my guest with Seed Consultants. I'm Ty Higgins on the Ohio AgNet.